Hello, my name is Matthijs Verschuur from Whiteheads and today I will show you how easy it actually is to spoof an email, how this works and how you can protect your organization from being spoofed. For the people that are already familiar with this, I will keep it short but I'm talking about the DNS records that can be set for your domain to protect your organization from a text like this. I'm talking about SPF, DKIM and DMARC. So an SPF record which is very popular it can be set to specify who is authorized to send mail on behalf of your domain. Then you have DKIM, which is another implementation which adds a digital signature to an email, which is also a check that can be performed to see if the one who's sending the mail is uh, a valid sender. And then we have DMARC, which does a couple of things, which I'm gonna showcase later, and also explain why that is the most important check to implement. Um, they work together, DKIM, SPF and DMARC, and without them together, emails can be spoofed quite easily because SPF and DKIM checks can be bypassed. And that's what I'm gonna showcase right away. We are going to do a spoofed email or are going to send a spoofed email from wicketticket.eu, which has set an SPF record and this is stating that only this IP address is an IP address that is allowed to send mails for this domain. It uses a hard fail policy which actually says if you're sending from a different IP address, you're not able to send emails for this domain. We will not accept this. So to showcase that I'm not on that IP address, I will show you I'm currently on this IP address. I would not be able to send mails for wickedticket.eu. I don't even have a password for an account on this domain, but I still will show you that it's possible to send mails on behalf of this domain. To showcase this, I'm going to use a tool that's called Mail Spoof Send, which I've written myself. And I'm going to send a mail coming from info at wickedticket.eu. I'm sending this to it at wickedticket.eu. And let's see if this actually works. So the current time is on the 23 minute. So let's see in the mailbox if we receive something. And there we go. I've tested it a couple of times before, but as you can see, this mail is coming from info at wickedticket.eu and it's sent to it at wickedticket.eu. But I was not allowed to send this. So how can we actually bypass this check and how does my tool bypass this? This is because the mail configuration for this domain is not configured properly. They do have a DMARC record and it looks like the following. But this is not sufficient enough to protect against spoofing. And I will show you why. In this picture, we will see what just happened. The sending mail server did send a mail. And the receiving mail server is then responsible for checking records. Normally it will check SPF and DKIM and if those succeed it will do another check. That's DMARC and DMARC will do something else. It will not only check if SPF and DKIM succeed but it will also check a alignment. And I will tell you in a moment why this alignment is very very important. In any other case, so if DKIM or SPF uh, uh, fails, DMARC will fail as well and it will handle its policy. The policy can be set to a couple of things and if you, are, if you already saw it, in our record it was set to policy none. This policy is most of the time used for reporting uh, so domain owners can uh, identify uh, which applications for example sent mail on behalf of your domain so they can later on be added to the SPF record. But how did we actually bypass this SPF check? This is because an attacker can set the SNTP from themselves and the MIME from is the only one that is, sent in, uh, that is shown in an email client. To showcase this, we can show a, the headers in an email. So in a mail that we sent, the SNTP mail from address was set to whitehats.nl. Therefore, the uh, receiving mail server is going to check the SPF record for this domain, which is under my control. So it will say it will pass because the domain of whitehats.nl has this IP address, which I'm currently on, as a permitted sender. 
So we bypassed by doing this um, the SPF check. But then you might ask yourself, why is a white hat's not showing in the mail? And why is the uh, wicked ticket showing in the mail? That is because email clients will not show this value, but will only show this from value. And that states in for the wicked ticket.eu. So the extra check that DMARC implements is to check the alignment between those two. And this is very, very important because as you could, could see, we could very easily bypass those first checks. So they always succeed, but because DMARC checks uh, both of this uh, alignments, it will still be able to capture this spoofed mail and to put it in a spam folder or uh, reject it. So this record and this record will be checked against each other. And why did this go wrong for this domain? Because the policy none was used. And policy none is actually not uh, blocking any of the mails, even if they DMARC fails. Because if you can see, DMARC failed, but the mail was still received. So what should you do as a company? You should actually put the DMARC record in place if that's not already there. Because if the DMARC record is not even there, then all mails can be spoofed very easily or you need to have a very very uh, popular or good uh, uh, spam filter but the recommendation here is to if you have it on non see which uh, ip addresses or servers are sending from your domain and which are required to do so and later on put it on either quarantine or reject the quarantine policy would have sent this mail to the junk as the alignment did not match if we put it on reject, it will even delete the mail and it would be never delivered to the user's mailbox. And that is actually how easy it is to protect yourself against spoofing mails. So tip of the day, check your DMARC policy and check if it's set to reject or quarantine and if you have those other uh, SPF and DKIM in place because they all work together. I hope you enjoyed this video and if there are questions, leave them in the comments and I will reply very soon. Thank you for watching.